I should speak up. The objective of the Scalpel Sisters is to soothe. For the Scalpel indeed is an extension of Ah, oh, he's so creepy! This is so Bioshock! See how the patient reacts when I would stroke the right nerve. Hear its comfort, hear the very melody of mercy. <laughs> Pray, sister. Show us the extent of your beneficence. Stop. Stay your hand, for it slaps where it should stroke. We can hardly hear the patient's sighs of solace. Perhaps it is our unexpected audience that makes you quiver. This is so Come Bioshock. On, step forward. You are no sister, but that matters none. Every student is welcome. Okay, did you see his legs? Did you see his legs? He's got like three, like different legs making him taller. Uh... Shoot. I mean, I can maybe talk my way through it. A student, yes. Do please enlighten me. Absence. Absence. No other word captures the heart of Shah so very perfectly. It is the scalpel-led journey that leads from pain to peace. A stinging truth, but a truth nonetheless. See? <laughs> What is the light of eyes but the cancer that causes one to witness the laceration of being? Okay, I don't like this at all. If light is the symptom, then darkness is the cure. For in light there is presence, but in darkness there is absence. You guys are cray cray. In light is presence, in darkness, absence. You are well on your way, but one white orb disfigures you still. Let us finish the cure. Ah. Uh, okay, uh. But one white orb, she's, he's talking to me. Oh yes, yeah, because my eye, I have one real eye. Um. I don't know how many of these I can do. I would kind of like to do all of them. Sometimes you can't. I'm gonna roll a religion check. Oh yeah, baby. <gasps> oh, roll, re-roll, 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 please. No, I'm reloading, <laughs> no. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm gonna reload, I know, I'm sorry. I wanna do, I just wanna try. <laughs> I'm gonna <do> <laughs> Also, I know I said it, but this is 110% Bioshock vibes. I never played Bioshock. I did watch a playthrough of all three games back when I really didn't have access to like video game stuff myself, but I watched a ton of Let's Plays. You are well on your way, but one white orb disfigures you still. Let us finish the cure. Blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, I watched Bioshock, and it was actually one of my favorite Let's Plays I would watch for a long time. And, uh... I even I played a little bit of it with one of my friends once, and we were so spooked by it, and it was crazy. So this, this is, reminds me of that scene where like you're in like the surgery area. I think it's in Bioshock One, and like the guy is like silhouetted on the wall, and he like sneaks up behind you and stuff, and it's like oh my gosh, and he's so creepy, and every all of them are creepy, and they're all mutilated, and it's like this beautiful, horrific like decadence and decay like bioshock to me i summarize as decadence and decay and it's like anyway, there's whole essays written on bioshock you know it's it's actually a really awesome one to like analyze like different themes of like i'm, okay, I'm not gonna go into it anyway let's go um uh, okay let's try it again please don't you roll one okay good okay i was like just not a one <laughs> you remember a shire and maxim Go forth and sow doubt, but do not compel it, for only the willing may know the lady's embrace. 
Uh, such a tainted shard sucker must be only granted to the willing. I don't know if this is gonna. Let's see what this does. Okay. The sisters' blades are bloodied and dull. Only the most measured hand could make a clean incision. Let's try persuasion. Okay. Because I had the other two options from what, like, the, the answers I gleaned from those successful rolls, but uh, maybe this persuasion one will just be the roll to end them all, you know? Their incisions are as yet still streaked with imprecision. That much. Wait, he's eyes bleeding right now. How to steady their hands, I wonder. It wasn't bleeding earlier. How did that. Did he do that to himself? That eyeglass is broken now. Ooh. Yes. I did read there. I did read his treatise. Treatise? Treatise. Uh, initiate the final lesson or die by my hand. I do have persuasion proficiency. Only with sacrifices mastery gained. For the sisters to learn, you must submit. Ooh. But then I might still have to deal with the sisters, where if, if I have them turn on each other, maybe I'll have less to deal with? I don't know. Let's try this. Only with sacrifices mastery gained. For the sisters to learn, you must submit. According to his own work. Oh. oh! Can I do it again? Dang, Nevit. Oh, I kind of want to reload. Ah! I rather think your sacrifice will be quite masterful enough for our purposes. Too late. Sisters, speak the truth that I have taught you. The scalpel soothes. Come sing its song. We would hear your melody of mercy. Alright, it's a battle. To battle. I am gonna be dealing with the consequences of my actions. Master Surgeon's Black is my instrument, honor. sister. Exterior succeeded in a in a in a check. Okay, good. Let me see what they're doing. He's got so this guy's got so much health. Hang on, wait. First, let me magic resistance, multi attack. Okay, okay. Is he technically undead? He is un- Oh my gosh, he is undead. Oh my goodness. So he's resistance to all damage, like to all regular damage. Let's see. Well, let's see if the super attack can do anything. Did it just miss? It was a 75% chance and he friggin' missed. Okay. I would normally do the Beyblade here, but I think these are, I mean, these, these are obviously undead, but they don't have the same resistance to turn undead as he does. Could I? No, I can't. I can't get her closer necessarily, so we'll just do this. Okay. So two of them are turned. That's good. Wow, that was a big critical hit. Ugh. Oh. Ah. Ow! I'm not gonna do hellish rebuke. I'll do shield blow. Let's see if that works. Ah. Nope. I'm confused. The subtle approach. Okay, so 
So far, I mean, he's staying in the room, but it is it is working out his stealth. Oh, I am taking so much damage. Jeez, Louise. Wait, who just who just died? Somebody just died because we got like 90 XP. Oh, my Harper died. Oh, I think that's what it was. I was not controlling the Harper. I don't know what was happening to the Harper now that I think about it. Um. Oh, let's um let's see if I can't get this woman. Dang it. Oh, I will use divine sense to get advantage on attack rolls against the undead. Oh, well, that didn't do anything. Target undead. Okay, that makes sense. Where is she going? What, where is she? She's is she still running? I think she's still running. Yeah, she's okay. Yeah, she's turned undead. And she's still running. Oh, they keep crit hitting me, and they're they're coming for Asterion now. Uh, I am gonna go ahead and go Beyblade mode. And we're gonna do radiant damage. This guy is so okay. Like he's so close to death. Yeah, before he performs surgery on you in combat. Okay, so it wasn't a talking one, but I got him before he com did committed surgery. Before he committed evil surgery on me. How are you still doing stuff if you're frightened? Oh, the freaking the Beyblades just standing here, and uh, we're doing great. She's confused, but... So we have the one who's run away upstairs, and we have this one over here. Shadow R hasn't taken any damage. Let's, uh... Let's have her run over here. And hit this woman. Oh my gosh, my wounds are too much to bear. I'm gonna know what to do. Okay. Oh, gosh. The other one's still upstairs. But I suppose it might come down after us. I'm Stop not maneuver. really sure. Maybe I'll have a Asterion start working his way over there. I guess it's, this is kind of confusing to look at. I don't. Oh, okay. So there's a, just a giant tree root. I see. I thought it was another floor. It is not another floor. Let's see. Shall we cut and run? <laughs> cut and run. <laughs> Okay, he's still stealthing it up. Let's see what we can Yes. Saved on the sneak attack. Uncool, uncool. A better position. Indeed. Uh, can he, he cannot crouch. They will know oh, he can. He has those, that rogue <laughs> action of crouching. <laughs> Carlac. <laughs> I worry that she's gonna get hit. We'll just, I know we're too close, but yeah. Uh! Ooh, saved, okay. Oh my gosh, I was hoping I'd, she'd be just with it. Oh, she is! There we go. That's the crazy amulet. All right, Asterion, come on. He was very helpful that in this. No, oh, first, let's go. Okay. We'll go and loot stuff down there, but there was stuff up here that I saw. Oh, Asterion, I need you. But short the rest wind before back in my crazy sails. happens. Quietly now. Okay, yeah, you don't have to crouch anymore. You're good. Or, hang on, let's let me move. see. I do have a key, so I don't know... Nope. Careful, okay. I bite. Soon. I bite. 
So in this book up here, The Lords of Madness, Volume 4, Yenago. Uh, this book is a fine red leather, seems ageless, but the smell of rotting flesh emanates from its pages. So that... Also, I still have that book of necromancy. Someone did tell me, though, one of my friends told me ages ago that there is a way to break it, and so I do... They, I think they said it was radiant power, and I was like, I tried that, but uh, we'll try again. Of all the demon lords, few have made their mark on the world as firmly as Yanago. Though his ravenous... I don't know if I'm saying that right. Though his ravenous hunger is claimed to be a mindless compulsion, there is nothing mindless about the thorough insinuation of his presence into the world via his chosen gnolls. Oh! That's right. We fought some, and we learned... We oh, I think my intelligence role talked about it a little bit. Um... How are gnolls created? First, a chosen of Yenogo must do as their master wills. Kill. A hyena then feasts on the corpse of the chosen's victim, and a gnoll is born of the glutted belly of the hyena. Gnolls thus born are hunger manifest. They ravage any living being. They care not for wealth or material. Some might envy the gnolls for such a tangible connection to their creator god, but that envy would melt to utter terror as soon as the beast's rotting breath and wicked cackles made their way through the dark of the night. Okay, I, don't, I may have read that already, but Let's see, I saw some, I some gloves please. in here too. It's always spooky when a when a house of healing right gets a uh, warped. It's like the the Unheimlich, right? The uncanny, the thing that is familiar that has become unfamiliar and terrifying. Is there? Oh, what? Library what and now? records. I almost just walked past it I'll as a challenge. door. Or as a wall, rather. Not just door. I was curious if the saloon thing would hurt um, Asterion, but I guess it's moonlight. It's not sunlight. And he's immune right now to sunlight anyway. At least things have stayed interesting. Okay. I love going into a library and records vault. Oh. There's hang on, okay. First first we looty McLooderson and then if we come not back. Over, then through. Oh, it looks like there was a way I didn't have to even lock. I could have just walked right in, basically. But I think you get some XP for lock picking, so there's that. Death and Divinity, a godly guide. Death is too powerful a force for even a single god to contain it. it is a duty that has been passed from hand to hand, splintered into smaller pieces, disease, war, funeral rites. But there must be always an overseer of the cycle of life as it falls away, as the cycle as life falls away. For countless eons it was Jurgle, the lord of the end of everything presided over mortality with his unblinking stare until even he grew weary. Young Baal, Bane, and Miracle must have thought themselves conquerors when they came for the god of death, yet he used their ambitions to free himself. Miracle claimed primacy over death from Jurgle's bargain, but even he does not rule death alone. What is murder if not the most violent of death? seized by Baal and his incessant greed. What need would there be for noble Kelmavor to judge passing souls if one deity could hold the process entire? Even gods can die after all. Those who worship death should remember that above all else. Wise, wise. Another key. A hospital library key. Gosh dang it. I didn't have to lockpick over there either. Dang it. This is, what I this is why I try to like loot an area first, but I get I'm like, ooh, and then I get distracted up and up. things happen. A lot of scrolls in here. All right, before we go into the library and work our way over there, I do want to finish looting down here if I can. All right, well let's go see what the big boy has. He did not do any like I, he had ample opportunity. Key, more key. I should never go anywhere without uh, without looting all the bodies. I am a silly head. Oh, interesting. I don't know. We could give that to Asterion. Paralyzing his target would be something he would like. I'm also gonna send that to Asterion. Oh! Okay, give that back, apparently. Oh! That's- is that our- Um... Is that his loot? Did it say? No one stopped me yet. Yeah, no, it doesn't have anything special. It's just a battered loot. We found a loot bearing Art's initials in the House of Healing, maybe playing it for him. Did it have his initials on it?
Well, good thing the game told me, otherwise I wouldn't have seen, like, it doesn't have anything. Like, you'd think it would, they would have it written in there somewhere. That it was something. Apparently not. Well, that's cool. I forgot that, um... Oh yeah, this is the Harper. <laughs> Hi, Harper. A tray pan, you done. Got some nasty stuff. Oh my gosh, is this person, this person is still alive. I just, I thought they were dead. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, I don't like this. Their tongue's been cut out. <laughs> well, how do you know where you're going? Your eyes got ripped out and you have no tongue. That's horrifying. Oh, a foot. Uh... Oh, you can just get in it? That's uh, horrifying. Wow, cool. Love that. That's disgusting. Um, artificial leech. Uh, okay, apparently this is a, an open heresy. Few recognize Shar as a goddess of creation or Saloon as a goddess of destruction, yet both are true. Born in the primordial ebb and flow of time, they forged Abir Toril together, and Shantia, mother of life, sprang into existence. Light and dark hung in perfect balance, embraced by Shar, enlightened by Saloon. Yet their creations were cold in distance, and Shantia prayed for warmth. The simple request divided the sisters, driving them to conflict, but it was Saloon that forced true flame into Abir Toril, sparking the sun. How could Shar not be harmed by such betrayal, forced to war against both the light of the sun and the light of the moon? As the goddesses tore each other to sunder, they formed new gods and new conflicts, all for the sake of a little warmth. The lesson is this, to put selfish comforts over the fate of existence is folly. For those who understand, the lady of loss is always listening. Interesting. I mean, it's obviously going to play a big part, but the, the story behind the sisters is going to be interesting, to say the least. Like, it's obviously, well, hopefully, at least one of the big backdrops of the game. Oh, this is the library. You can get to there from the bottom floor? Oh, and, oh, we can climb roots to get up there. Okay, I was like, how do we even get up there? I didn't even need to unlock it upstairs. There was a way in from the bottom floor. What the heck? I feel like I kind of go things, I go to things in a roundabout way. Like sometimes I'm like always searching around the outer edges before I like circle in. But it's because of stuff like this where I want to see what I can find. Um, oh, but there are traps or something somewhere. I will have to go upstairs, I think. Because. Oh, wait. Can I. <clears throat> There's, is that maybe just not a trap? Oh, there was a button right there. It was just an elevator to take us to the top? Is that what it is? Oh, why is the button also moving? Jeez. I feel like the button should not have moved, but there it is, floating in the air? on In the roof? I'm not sure. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and call it here. This has probably been two episodes recorded as one, so that's exciting for me later, but thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, including my Acorn Tier patrons. Thank you so much, Bane, for your support. I very much appreciate it, and I want to give an extra, extra special shout-out to... Oh my gosh, my phone just beeped at me, and I lost track. Um... Rescalito, sorry. Thank you so much for your support as a sapling tier patron. I appreciate you as well. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my forest tier patron, who's gone above and beyond and has supported me in the channel and who I cannot thank enough. So thank you all again, and I hope to see you in the next one.